right here. I think we got it. Yep, we're up. All right. Today we're going to do the... Looks like we're going to try to get the birthday cake. We'll see how that goes. Hook's assistant, if you remember, we met him last time. Specifically said to go into Lumbridge, and they marked all the different places. i got to collect some different things. Uh, milk and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and warp over here. It looks like everything's in Lumbridge. So I will go there first. We'll see how this goes. And if we get done with that, we can try... I think we were working on the priest one. He was stuck behind bars, so we can try to get him out. All right, there we go. Now, they marked pretty much everywhere around here, so... Um, let's go... Let's see, let's see what the map says. All right, if I go west, they go into a place they call castle. So that apparently I can get something out of the castle. Um, let's see, what did the what did the thing say I'm looking for? So I'm looking for top quality milk, extra fine flour, super large egg. Milk, flour, egg. And they said and they marked in the castle, so I don't see anything from Lumbridge Sage. I don't think that's going to be helpful. What could possibly be in here? We've got Father and Altar. Well, we'll talk and see. Maybe he's got one of those three. Welcome. Nice place you got here. Looking for a quest. Lucky, I need someone to do a quest for me. The Restless Ghost. Talk to Father Eric in the church east of the castle. I will accept it, but I'm not going to do that one right now. Facing a level 7 warlock. I can handle that. If I get stuck, I could do that one. But South of this church. Get rid of it. Currently living in a little shack south of the swamps, near the coast. Father Eric, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Take care of traveling through the swamps. To get there, just follow the path south through the graveyard. I will, thanks. Let's go up the ladder. Maybe I can find one of these three things. That's interesting. I got two ladders. Looks like they go to the same place. I can go up another ladder. Hmm. Ring the bell. What would that do for me? Nothing. Oh, achievement complete. Ring the bell. <laughs> That's funny. I made progress, maybe. Play organ. Sure, chime a few notes. Whoa. This looks like skeletons are playing. Weird. Tinkle the Ivories. Play the organ. Another achievement. Two achievements in one location. Well, 
Cool. All right, let's go back. I wanted to. I still need to go there south, but I want to finish my Cook's Assistant one real quick. Okay, so I need to go in this direction. Whoops. Looks like I was actually outside the general area. Talk to Hans. Talk to Nistra. Fill fountain. Just water. Hello, what are you doing here? Looking for whoever's in charge. I'm to kill everyone in the castle. I don't know, I'm lost. I wondered what happened to the castle. Have you been here as long as me? I'm uh, looking for who's in charge. Who, the Duke? He's in the study on the first floor. Read clan club. Talk, talk, talk to Nastroth. It's probably indoors that I probably have to go, but. Hello. Greetings, brave warrior. What can I do for you? Who are you? What do you do here? Let's let me talk about skill resets. Ooh. What do you do here? I collect ancient artifacts acquired by warriors in return for money. What are these ancient artifacts? As the blood and sweat of warriors is spilled on the ground, relics of the god wars are drawn out from the dirt from where they were once left forgotten. If you happen to come across any of these ancient items, bring them to me and my or my brother Mandrith in Edgeville. We will pay you a fair price for them. We don't accept them in noted form though. Remember that. All also we don't want to buy any weapons or armor. Why don't you want weapons or armor? They should be used as they were meant to be used, not traded for money. Mandruth and I only collect ancient artifacts. What are the ancient artifacts? What's my question? As the blood and sweat of warriors spill on the ground, relics of the god wars are drawn out in the dirt. You must have forgotten if you happen to come across any of these ancient items, bring them to me and my brother Maldrith. And yeah, 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 there we go. Alright, sounds great. Goodbye. Alright, let's go inside. Open the large door. Ooh, lots and lots of stuff in here. I would feel really weird stealing from up there. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a door here. I can go talk to him. Maybe he'll remind me or tell me more clearly where to go. He's talking to somebody else. That looks like me. How are you getting on with finding the ingredients? I haven't got any of them still looking. Please get them quickly. I'm running out of time. Duke will throw me into the street. You still need to get top quality milk, extra fine flour, super large egg. Uh, where can I find them? That's a problem. I don't know. 
I usually send my assistant to get him, but he quit. Wonder why. Mark several places on the map in red. You may want to consider investigating that. Okay, so... I did not see anything in red. Let me double check the map. Alright, so locations. I'm in the castle. Um, so he means these one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is just a trick to get me to go explore these different places that they've created. Uh -huh. There's a trap door down there. I wonder if there's anything down here. There's boots. Should I pick them up? I can always throw them away if I don't like them. I have so many shoes. Bill sink. Bucket. Hey, bucket. Could always go for a bucket. There's a knife, a bucket, and cabbage. Um, I guess I'll loot all, but I'll probably end up having to throw some of it away. Spider. Search crate. Hey, maybe it's in one of these crates. Search crate, I said. Examine crate. Old crate for storage. Not telling me anything. You at least say it's empty. Nothing. Search sex. Search those sex. Oh. I'm not impressed. Alrighty. Whole lot of nothing. But I got a bucket. Maybe the bucket will help me with something. Who knows? Take jug. Another jug. Like an infinite number of stuffs. Let's try this ladder. What's up here? Nothing. Climb up the ladder. Ooh. Also nothing. Okay. Ceradomist Preacher. He's outside the bubble, so he's probably not it. Okay, so let's look on the map. Alright, so we tried Castle. Not seeing any, anything over there. Let's try Goblins. This mean fighting Goblins, and then they might drop one? That's awesome.
shopkeeper. Tried to put something here, but it didn't. Oh, I would have to go here. I might as well go back here. Teleport, go east. Oh, there's the goblin. I was right next to it. Is the bridge? It is. I'll fight him if I don't see it laying on the ground or something. Ooh, here we go. Oh, this is way outside my jurisdiction. Okay. Half of air. Oh my goodness. I got bones and grapes and all sorts of stuff. I'm going to examine grapes, see if I can use them or what they're for. Six gold each. bolts. All kinds of stuff from the goblins. If I need any money, just fight goblins. They don't even team up or anything. Welcome. Welcome, Mr. Barbecue Rib. How are you doing today? Giant spider. I doubt that one's going to have anything. So, I could continue fighting these, but it doesn't look like I'm getting the items I'm looking for. Are you actually in jail? No, the character that I'm trying to rescue is in jail, but thanks for asking, Aussie Detox. That would be really weird. There is a priest in jail. That's the second mission I've got. I'm not the priest. This is a really weird game. There's all kinds of cool missions. It's called Priest in Peril. It's this one right here. The priest is behind bars and I have to rescue them. That's that's what I'm doing that for. I'm just... I listed the two missions that I'm hoping to do. Um, the first one's the cook one. And I got another one while I was looking for this one. So now I have three different quests to do.
take raw beef. I want milk. I wonder if I can get milk from these. You're right, it would be. <laughs> It'd be impossible. Jails aren't quite that open. Although if they had a game, it would probably be something about like this. There's raw beef everywhere. That's probably from them knocking down cows. Milk dairy cow. Hey, I can get milk from there. I've got a bucket and I've got a jar. I wonder if those could be... I have to get on the other side of that. How do I climb that? Talk to Gilly Gross. How do I climb the fence? But there's a, a gate somewhere over here. I just didn't see. Are you rank one in this game? Um, I'm level about 25 or 30, but I've only been playing for a couple weeks, so it's pretty low. This is a pretty novice level right now. Is there many player? Um, there's, you mean like playing inside the game? What did you mean by, is there many player? Ah, uh, open gate. Here we go. I found it. It's going the wrong way. Milk prized dairy cow. Hey, this is where I get the best milk. Look at that top quality milk. That was the milk. So I got one of the three things already. Sweet. Very cool. I need an egg, so I probably need to find chickens. Alright, if I go northwest, I'll get to the chickens. So, let's go ahead up here, go northwest and get to the chickens and see if I can get a special egg from them. There's another gate I can open. I wonder if that's the gate to the chickens. Yeah, maybe. That's ducks. Open gate. There we go. There, okay, so we got chickens, chickens. Fill water, barrel, chicken, chicken, chicken. Super large egg. Was it super large egg that I want? I think so. These are all regular eggs. Super large egg. All right. It'll probably put a check mark if I... Are there many players? Sorry, my English am from Sub Ariona. Sub Ariona. I wonder where that is. Are there many players in the game? Yeah, there's a bunch in the game. Um... They're on different worlds inside the game, so you can, like, explore. This is a game on, um, I think it's on Steam. Steam is like a, a program where you have a whole bunch of games, and people can download this game for free if you want to on Steam. And they all join. It's a, it's a multiplayer game. So I, I think as I get higher in level, I'll get to areas with more, more players and more people leveling. 
Game's been around for over 20 years, actually, so... Super large egg, top quality milk, extra fine flour. Where would the... Maybe I have to make the extra fine flour? Or wheat or something? I'm also out of space, so I need to get rid of some shoes. Drop leather boots. Sorry, leather boots. We need space. Alright, this is outside my zone. What's your normal language, barbecue rib? Are there different planets like Mars and stuff? Um, on this game, there's not different planets. Um, it's just this one world. I think it's called Gileanor or something like that. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, that that's a but they keep doing updates. So so this game used to be really basic, like real like stick figures and really fancy like like little squares, not fancy at all, I mean. And people used to like you know, it's it's all based on like text and like characters and not as much action and things like that. And slowly they've been upgrading. So like now you got three dimensional and moving around and different actions. It's still low graphics, but it's, you know, better than it used to be, I think. And the game is so, so popular. I mean, it's a really funny game. It's really silly the way the characters interact. And yeah, I need to cross over, so I need to go all the way back over there. It's just a creative adventure, and it's totally open-ended. That's one of my favorite things. You can just explore your, your heart's content. Um, hay bales. I wonder if there's flour over here. Let's go search down here while we're at it. Ooh, trap door. Go back, go back. Find trap door. Hey, hey, Donkey Konga. How's it going? Welcome. He joined my stream. He speaks Spanish, so if anybody speaks Spanish, Donkey Konga is fluent. Nothing, no flowers in here. I probably have to do make my own or something. I bet it's over in that other section. Just by looking. Pernicus Glyph. Hmm. Alright, let's check out the next path over. If I need to come here... Oh, here's a bridge. Just south of me, I'll go west, and then I'll go northwest. There we go. Here's the... Oh, it's fishing over there. Mine entrance? No, I don't think it's in the mine. Walking around. I'm chasing after this goblin just for fun. Whoops, sorry about that goblin. 
take bread dough. Bread dough? I said I wanted flour. Maybe I'll just take the bread dough. Would they like that instead? There's a hammer. Oh, a crate of hammers. Anvil. Okay, so they're making stuff. Hammer's probably a cheap thing. Steal from the vegetable stalls. Mm, they wanted something high quality. I doubt they want a stolen thing. I'm, I'm not Aladdin. More chickens. Okay, so I'm heading in the right direction. I bet the mill has the... What I need. Climb over style. The rams. Why would the rams have what I need? <laughs> Keep exploring. I see you are escaping from a run. <laughs> yes. Run, escape. There you go. Like a play on words. Runescape, run, escape. Convert to hidey hole stack of animal feed. What does that mean? To construct a hidey hole, you need 27 construction, 4 planks, and 10 steel nails. Yes, no, and no. I don't have any of that. Ooh, search hay bales. Wonder. So these are all wheat. Oh, that looks out of my area. So it doesn't say it's in there. Let's try it in here. I also speak English. So you are good, dudes. I am starting to stream in English too. Yeah, you are you are bilingual. You say half the things in Spanish and half the things in English. It's pretty entertaining if you ever want to watch a cool stream. Yeah, that... Bar barbecue Rib said he was from another country and he was having trouble with English, but he, he was asking some questions and learning about the game too. I'm not like Lady Khan, I'm not going to make you speak only English. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Mill Lane. Ah, looking for extra fine flour. What's wrong with ordinary flour? I'm no expert chef, but apparently it makes better cakes. This cake you see is for Duke Horacio. Oh, I guess it wasn't for the king, it was for Duke. Really? How marvelous. Well, I can sure help you out there. Go ahead, use the mill, realign the millstones to produce extra fine flour. Anything else? How do I do mill flour? Making flour is pretty easy. First of all, you need to get some wheat. Pick some from the wheat fields. There's one just outside. Others scattered around the world. Feel free to pick wheat from our field. There always seems to be plenty of wheat there. I think she'll be back on Sunday. Yep, I bring my wheat here. Yes, or to one of those mills from Gielinor. They all work the same way. Take your wheat up two levels to the top floor of the mill. Place them onto the hopper. You need to start the grinding process by putting the lever near the hopper. You can add more wheat, but each time you add more, you have to pull it again. Pull the lever again. Where does the flour go then? Flour appears in this room here. You need to empty the you need an empty pot to put the flour in. One pot will hold the flour on one load of wheat. So I need a pot and I need flour to get that. You can buy empty pots or I see one right over there. You could do the empty pot here. Hey, take my spare one. Thank you, thank you. Now I need some wheat. Do I have wheat? I have feather. Um, all there is to it, and you'll have a pot of flour. Got it. 
Thanks, sweet. Alright. I'll be off now. Now I can drop something. Grab wheat. What can I drop? What is my most useless thing here? Air talisman, air talisman. I got two air talismans. Let's drop an air talisman. I don't know what it is. Might as well drop it. Okay. Let's get some wheat and let's make my flour and let's move thick wheat. Hope oh, the type of wheat doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick the first one I see. upstairs. I can close the door. Why would I want to do that? Keeps the air from coming in and... Alright, so I'm going up. I think I go up two stories, they said. Then I put the wheat on the hopper and I go investigate hopper. Use wheat from your inventory on the hopper. All right, use wheat on the hopper. Okay, then I operate, pull the lever. And then flour comes out on the bottom. I hope. And then I scoop it up and go finish my quest. And I can move on to the Priest in Peril quest. Where's that pot they gave me? There it is. Extra fine flour, please. Please tell me it's extra fine. Yes, it is extra fine. All right. Cool. So that means the quest is complete. Let's see if I can take a shortcut back to the beginning. I think that was in the castle, so I will shortcut back over here. Goodbye, farm. Thanks for your cake. Draw a line in the sand. Teleport over. Pulse core. Hmm. All right, I need to go west, so that must be probably through this gate. Okay, that guy's running around and he disappeared. All right, Cook's in there. Can I get, I guess I have to go through the main door. The dining room of stars. It's a nice dining room. Never any people in here, which is weird. Food's probably getting... Talk to the cook. All right. Here he's going to say, find everything. Yes, I found everything. Give the milk. Here's some milk. Here's the flour. Here's the egg. You brought me everything I need. I am saved. Thank you. So... Do I get to go to the Duke's party? I'm afraid not. Only the big cheeses get to dine with the Duke. Well, maybe one day. I'll be important enough to sit at the Duke's table. Maybe. But well, I won't be holding my breath. Congratulations! You have completed Cook's Assistant. You get a whole bunch of experience for cooking, sardines, quest points, treasure hunter keys. Awesome. Cooking up to level 10, sweet. Pie, toad crunchies.
wonder where they put my items that I got. I've got room in my backpack still, I didn't expect that. I keep on dying. Can I use your range? Maybe now I can use his range, because I needed to use it before and they wouldn't let me. I'll bet now I can use it. Alright, let's see. I need to do the Priest in Peril. I wonder if this is a invitation box helps me get there faster, like a teleport thing. Teleport to the Empyrean Citadel. We'll see if that's the right place. <laughs> Whoa. Where the heck am I? This is the rune crafting zone, I believe. Excavation site. Statue of Death. Straight from Acts of the Apostles. The Citadel took some revelation up after you left. That dragonkin really lost his temper. Welcome back. Ask about rewards. XP lamps. Sliske was most entertained by your efforts. He left you these lamps so that you may do even better next time. Oh. I must have already gotten all that. Welcome back, adventurer. The Citadel took some cleaning up. Oh, uh, this is the, the quest I did before. Okay. Let's see, I was going to head over here to the temple area. So what's my closest waypoint to there? I need to explore this area. Uh, I also need to go to a bank. Drop off some of my extra stuffs. Let's go here, go to the bank, and we'll walk over. Must have heard me. Put my mouse right there. Members world to access this bank. Yeah, I don't need to access the contents. I just want my own bank. SPF. Alright, we need to go here. There. Hope if I push the right buttons.
Oh, there's the bank. Please let me use this one. Cool. Alright. See anything useful in here? I see necklace. Probably probably most of this stuff is junk, but look how many buckets I got. Cook chicken if I'm hungry. I'm gonna go fight, I can bring that. House key, meat pie, training dummy, impied, wormwood, scales, trousers, wand. They should like sort this on usability, you know, like if it's interesting. Backpack currently unavailable. Oh, because it's right here. Alright, I'm going to deposit the cabbage. I don't know what to do with the cabbage. I guess I can eat it. Deposit the knife. Deposit the staff of air. Deposit the extra jug. I enough of those. Deposit the mindscape air. Oh, wait. Is that one even better? Level 5. Power mindscape. Mindscape. Tower mindscape. Hmm. I have a feeling this tower one is actually worse. Let's go with the regular one. Amulet, amulet of potency. I'll just deposit that. Probably want to sell it later. I'll hold on to the crossbow in case I need it. Air talisman. Deposit that. Don't know what to do with it. I got feathers. Feathers was needed for some quest somewhere, but I'll just go ahead and deposit all of it. Sardines. Deposit the sardines. Arrows, vial, water, jug of water. Deposit this. Hold on to that in case I want to use it. Alright, so I've got a bow. I've got a bow. So I got two bows. This one's an arrow bow and this one's a bolt. Bolt bolt. What's better? This one does 91 damage, this one does accuracy. Um, that one's faster. Can't decide. Okay, I'll hold on. All right. Now we are continuing our priest quest, which was go east from here, I believe. Yep, go east and then come up here. Some something over here, and I can actually activate it, and it'll kind of give me a hint about the general area. Priest in peril, set active. Find the key to his cell and free him. Alright, I think I have... I thought I had, like, a, an iron key or something. Was that in the bank? I wish you could see the bank from any point. Let me go back to the bank and double-check and see if there's an iron key in there. I feel like they gave me a key at some point. And there's a key to his cell or something like that. I will double check before I go, just to save myself a trip. Alright. House key. No, that's not it. Anyone see any keys here? I see nothing. I've got a key token. Maybe I could put a tea co key token where there is that key in that in that uh, underground area and swap out the token for an actual key. Maybe that's the trick. Sounds weird, but this game is weird, so that might be it. That's a ladder. I wonder what's up there. We will try again. Thank you. 
Sure enough, there's a bank way over here. What is all this stuff? Did I enter an area that I was... Bank chest, okay. Acting Guildmaster? Why are they telling me to talk to him? You here to sign up at the Archaeology Guild? No. Maybe? Why would I want to become an archaeologist, though? You want the sales pitch, right? Need a reason to go down to the dirt with the rest of us working schmoes? Well, I'm sure one of the four core aspects of archaeology will at least get you to give it a shot. Wealth, power, fame, and stories. Wealth is the easy one. Not only will you find artifacts, with their own inherent value. We also have a healthy trade going on between guild members. Any material you excavate, you can sell to other archaeologists. Power comes in the form of magical relics you discover in your career. I have no doubt an adventurer or such as you could gain extra value out of increasing your power. Faith comes in the form of being the first to discover something of note or importance. There's more than one way to become a world-renowned archaeologist, and it isn't all just about being the most experienced of us. And finally, the stories. As an archaeologist, you will uncover long-forgotten tales of people and places from the past, events lost to time, and rediscover things both mysterious and wonderful. Well, I'm sure at least one of the motivates me, do I need any qualifications? Those can come later. I'm sure we can start you off on the basics and you can learn on the job. Great, so or what are the basics? First off, you're going to need some tools. Tutor hands you a set of archaeologist tools, you place them on your tool belt. Those tools I just handed you cover most of the needs, uncovering excavations and restoring damaged artifacts mostly. However, We've been developing a new tool to do the actual excavation. Strong enough to dig out materials, but quickly but delicate for when you need to be careful around the artifact. Take the bronze mattock to start with. Hmm. Uncover the soil. You need to learn how it works to uncover this. Add a tool belt. Bronze. Use the tool. Oh, you have to add it to the tool belt. Okay. I have a tool belt. Now, excavation one of the two main aspects of archaeology. You'll find a number of excavation hotspots around the various dig sites. Excavation hotspots have many names. First step is always to uncover them. Like that soil over there. Your main goal is slowly dig up artifact from them. But while doing so, you create and obtain a number of other useful finds. We'll discuss the value of those as we go. The blue bar above your head while you excavate shows your progress towards discovering the next damaged artifact. While excavating, you also find materials which can be used to restore the damaged artifact. Start with uncover each new spot that you find. Try it on the pile of soil just there. Excavation. Centurion remains. Ooh. Materials. Iron, wood, and damaged sword. I just uncovered an excavation. Now to start excavating it. I leveled up. Yes, I found some soil. 
level up. Ah, a material. Oh, it's iron. Hopefully it stacks. I hope it stacks. Oh, I leveled up again. Some people like leveling up. Hope I can sell my artifacts and I don't have to uh, hold on to them because I got all this extra stuff. Okay, I've got purple heartwood, purple heartwood, but it doesn't stack. Oy. What do you do with wood that doesn't stack? You find Centurion Dress Sword damage. Archaeology 5. Wow. It's going crazy for me. Requirements Archaeologist Workbench. Iron. Wood. So I don't have enough iron and wood. How can I possibly hold five iron and five wood? Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to stack it myself. The materials required to restore it. When you're ready, talk to him about the next step. So I need iron and wood. I've got a couple iron. I've got three iron, right? Try to stack these. Please stack. Yeah, that's not... I, don't, I mean, I have enough space to take one of these required. I'm going to that bank over there in a minute. Oh, luckily there's a bank not far away. Over there. Please be a regular bank. Archaeologist workbench. Hey, that's one of the things I need. Material storage container. Is that? Can I use that? No. You need to learn how to learn restoration works before you can utilize it. Okay. Well, we'll go to the chest that was right there. Okay. You can't bank the wood? Can't bank the iron. Oy, oy, oy. Alright, well, we're going to have to deposit some of this stuff here. So we need four slots to get the rest of what I need. So I need at least one of these to go back into the bank. Let's put the coral crossbow away. Sorry, buddy. Alright, now we got four slots. Now let's go dig. Green mesh. What the heck? Excavated all I need. Talk to him about what comes next. Okay, so I already know I just need to collect more. Material cash. Maybe there's another site I can dig at. Mysterious mono. So much mysterious, that's for sure. Desk, professor, I 
to check the map. I want to see where I'm at. You are here at the archaeology campus. Oh, I thought I was way up here. I need to come north. Archaeology guild. Okay, I thought I was up here. <laughs> It's a dig site for like minerals and stuff. I'll I'll come back. I'll do this one. I'll finish this one later. I want to finish the priest in peril one before I forget. here yet? I am. Okay, so I want to go this way. That dungeon, that's where I want to go. Yeah, use my marker. That's what I like to see. Talk to Maria. She looks sad. Lo siento, Maria. Here we go. Let's try in here. Open gate. Study monument. Okay, so somewhere in here, I've got to figure out something. Okay, search well. I want the one with the key. One of these had a key in it. With the golden needle. Don't have any needles, sorry. A golden feather. Oh, I had feathers and I, I dumped them in my uh, bank. Of course I did. There's my key. That's an iron key, so that means... Use an earned key before you can claim another from this token. I don't know. What's in the well? Is there water in here? Filthy polluted water. I have a bucket. Thought I had a bucket somewhere. My heart is like, where the heck is my bucket? Make pile of water. I need Guam. 
thing to do. This is herb stuff. Oh, man. I need a bucket. Yes, I do. I need a bucket. I might as well get the bucket and the feather from over there. Let's see if I can get them over there quickly. again here. Moving a little quicker this time. Alright, we got a pot. Here's our bucket. I don't know how I lost that. Okay. And then that feather that I wanted. Let's try that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Go this way. Will he open the door if I click over there? No. One step at a time, right? Alright. Alright, I need to go north and then east. Got my sword out. No, I don't need to hit anything. Let's try again here. I think this is the feather one. Let me double check. Look at that. I got a golden feather. Huh. That's funny. It worked like the key one. So you basically take an old rusty one and you swap it out there and then... Let me use the bucket and get some water. Magic musty water. Bucket of water. There we go. That's what we need.
Up and out. We made it. Okay, so now let's go back. Let's see if this bucket and can help us. Rescue the priest. We will find out. Still up, up, up and away. Lots of monks. How goes it? Any luck finding a key to the cell or a way of stopping the vampire? I have some water. Seems to have been desecrated though. You think you could bless it for me? Almost certainly, but not from inside here. You must open my cell door. Alright, where's that gold key I had? I don't know how I lost it. Got a tea coat token. Use up an earned key before you can claim another from this token. I have a house key. Imagine table. Examine table. Roll over table. Examine bucket of water. Murky water. Okay, so blessing the water. Where is that key? Maybe I need an iron... No, I have an iron key. Or I saw an iron key in the... Where could it be? I think this claim key is, you must use up an earned key before you can claim another from this token. So how to use up an earned key? What do they mean by that? Maybe I could destroy it. No. Add one treasure hunter key to your collection. Oh! Treasure hunter keys. Oh. That's nothing. That's different. Wrong, wrong kind. I don't need that. That golden key is the bane of my existence. Where the heck is it? I'm going to look around again.
Hammer. I might even have a hammer. Looks like a bucket or a pot. I need that key. I mean, this is the key I got from fighting that thing. I need the gold key to get him out. Tried to take from it and then I just got hurt. Still there. Search keyhole. Salmon shelves. Holy barrier. Oh boy, that guy's attacking me. The deal with the guardian first. Oh dear, that's not going to be easy. Mm, maybe. Level up. 16. More life points. Can't even go there if you wanted to. Okay. Alright. I don't know where that gold key is. Maybe I have to... Abandon this idea of getting a golden key and move on to something else. Maybe I should just give up with that. I could finish off this archaeology stuff I was doing. There's also another quest down there. I'll have to do that for now, I suppose. Can't win them all. Did that guard just attack me? Or is it fighting somebody else? Just fight somebody. Yep. Right where I'm standing. Oh, of course. Skill 871. Not bad. Chop down elder tree. Not a good idea. More rocks. We're looking for the archaeology gold killed. See if we can finish off. I think I needed a couple more things and then I can get rid of some of my stuff in my backpack. And probably finish a quest or something. Here we are, archaeology campus. Let's keep going east.
I need another place to dig up because I need some more of these items. More wood and more... Although I'm running out of space here. I can get rid of soil, right? Use the soil. The mesh. You need to learn how it works before you can utilize it. Okay, so I talked to him. I found soil materials and damaged artifact. On inspection, looks like I need some more materials before I can restore the artifact, though. Well, one way to find more materials is screen the soil you found while excavating. Ah. I would have realized that myself. That was it? You just told me to do what I was trying to do anyway? Well, thanks, I guess. Alright. Mm -hmm. Soil. At the mesh. Screen it. Oh boy. What did I gain? I gained more iron. That's what I got. Oh, it did all my soil. Sweet. So I got four iron and three wood. So I still need... Two more iron, or one more iron and two more wood. I have some more soil. Come back after you try to make space to take it. I have space. How much soil do you got? Body room. my golden feather. Deposit my vial of water. Deposit my body. Can't deposit the key token there. Head over the screening, screen that soil. Oh wow, that's a lot of soil. Screen seven, sure. Right, that should be enough screening. What'd you find? I found the rest of what I needed. Hey, you rigged it on purpose. Screening is a good way to find materials you may have missed, among other things. The screening station will help you separate the soil from any useful items that may have been hidden within it. So now, for the other main aspect, restoration. Now I'll go to that bench over there that you saw. Damaged artifacts require a lot of materials to restore them to a pristine condition. To help, we have a material storage container that you can use to store any materials you discover. All damaged artifacts you discover while excavating can be inspected in order to see which materials they will need to restore them and in what quantity. It's like another bank. 
Baby. View the contents of the container. Artifacts can require large amounts of materials to restore them. Material storage container can be used to store the materials required for restoration, and these materials can be used directly from the container when restoring an artifact. Ah. Alright. Well, I'll put all my iron and my wood in there. Ooh, they stack, too. I have to stack them in the storage area. That is ridiculous. Not store any damage sort. Okay. So I will close. Now I go to the bench. Restore an artifact at the bench. Sweet. Just as I suspected. Centurion's dress sword. Restore. Yes. You have to have space. I have space. Six seconds to restore it. Oof. Whoa, massive amount of experience. All the way up to level seven. I should show this to the guildmaster, my first artifact. All right. Inspect it. On closer inspection, this is clearly just a replica of the Centurion's Dress Sword, used in the training prospect prospective guild members. It makes sense to not entrust fragile age-old artifacts to inexperienced hands. It's still a good replica. Can I sell it? If I can't use it, might as well sell it. Congratulations, you restored your first artifact. There are collectors out in the world who would love to get their hands on these artifacts. Velucia is a collector, can be found at the front of the main building. The main building. You mean in this area? She might be interested in adding to their collection. Go talk to her. Contribute an artifact to a collector. And they're telling me how to get there. I like it. There she is. Hey, I remember her. Wait, is that a centurion's dress sword? I'd love that for my collection. I'll trade you something valuable for it. Tribute all. Reward the Mortal Cup. Font of Life Relic Power. Hands you a relic. Ooh. It's a cup. Thank you for helping me with my collection. There are many collectors in the world who are interested in artifacts. You can see a list of those that are aware of that we're aware of on the notice board here. Museums also interested in our discoveries will reward you for your contribution. I'd best report back to the Guildmaster. Back and forth, back and forth. Lucia handed me the relic in return for the artifact I gave her. It feels like I'm drawing me it's drawing me towards the monolith. Really? Now 
Now that is unusual. We've been researching that mysterious, mysterious monolith ever since Guildmaster Tony's disappearance. He was messing with it when he disappeared. Everyone has been too wary of getting close to it though. But if that relic is pulling you toward it... Hmm, we should see if your connection with the mysterious monolith is any different. Be careful though. I did walk past that monolith about 20 times. Hmm. Interact, mysterious monolith. Ah, I'm electrocuted. Health points drop to zero. Amazing. You weren't pulled inside the monolith. Wait, that was a possibility? Well, that's how Guildmaster Tony vanished. I probably should have been clearer about that part. We made it off limits to the rest of the guild's members, but there was something about how the relic drew you to it and how confident you were. I just had a feeling things would work out this time. And look, I wasn't wrong. Wow, how many interns have you been through? Um, sorry. Okay, don't judge me. We've been accident free since Tony's disappearance. Anyway, let's see if you can tap into the monolith and gain access to the power the relic contained. Ancient power unlocked. You now have access to the relic power font of life. Increases max health by 500. Wow. Harness power. Harnessing relic power, font of life, crow note cost 1000. I don't have any crow notes. Monolith energy 50. You wish to continue. Sure. Managed to access the power of the relic contained. I'm impressed, Mangler 3M. Here I was thinking I was recruiting just another intern today. I wasn't expecting you to go from to go one better than your very own guildmaster. I've only assumed the position of acting guildmaster because I believe Tony can and will return to us. That said, I feel you have the power the potential to climb up our ranks very quickly. You're you've a natural affinity with this stuff. Er, that's what you tell everybody, I bet. Speaking of which, come and meet me in the main campus building just west of here to claim your first qualification. We need to get you working at a dig site. Pronto. He's everywhere. I believe you have the potential to become a world-renowned archaeologist, Mangler 3M. You're a natural. More than that, you have a connection with that monolith out there, something nobody else has. I bet there are many powerful relics you could sacrifice to it. Feel free to make use of the Guildmaster's office upstairs. We're all making use of it now, until Tony returns. Before you go, let me give you a quick tour of of what's on offer here in the office. The table contains a map of all the dig sites. You may use it as a method of, la of fast travel. Sweet. 
Madioc sells all your basic Maddox to get you well on your way in the journey, in our in your journey. When you get new qualifications, there will be more available for you to purchase from Ezreal's shop. You'll need to get your hand on a bunch of crow notes. Should you wish to purchase anything around here, though. For now, they're stocking a soil box for free. I'd suggest picking one up as it will save you lots of space when you find out when you're out in the field. All right, get a soil box. Grab yourself a soil box. Come back and meet me. Meet me. Come back to me. Everything belongs in a museum. It also happens that contributing to Velusia's collections is a good way to earn chronos, which you can spend in my shop. Want to look? We have a range of consumables and unlocks to assist your ancient your archaeologi archaeological progress. Whatever level of qualification you've achieved. Ooh. I'm an intern, so I get a free soil box. So you have one that takes up space. And you have to like fill it manually, little by little. Excellent, you can upgrade your soil box capacity as you advance through qualifications. Ooh, that's a quick capacity now. You now have nearly everything to start get you out there starting investigating, the excavating. Final thing is to give you this journal. Carl archaeologists should have a journal to make notes of their travels, but it also has some other handy features. Checking in on your overall progress, what's in the material storage container and getting you back into the to the guild quickly are just a couple things it can do. Feel free to stick it in your pocket while you're out and about. You never know when it can come in handy. And without further ado, I'm pleased to welcome you as a new intern to the Archaeology Club Guild. Please accept this certificate of qualification. Completed the tutorial. Soil box can store 50 of each soil type. Access to the office. Access to the rewards. Unlock the type. Right, now that you're an official guild member, you should get out there and start excavating. We got a team over at to read it that could go could do with another pair of hands. I'll get someone to take you there now. Hey Mangler 3M, I'm over here. Dr. Nab Nabanik. Nabanek. Hello, old friend. Welcome to the Karid et Dig Site. We need your help, Mangler 3M, to explore this fort to help answer some of Gillinor's oldest mysteries. Let me take you on a quick tour of what we have around here. If you find any artifacts, feel free to use the workbench to fix them up. The material storage is free for you to use as well. We found this area to be rich in Samite silk. There's no artifacts as far as we can tell, but it's rich in material. Arti artifacts do seem to be abundant out here though. You should be able to find plenty. 
We need to break down this debris to gain access to the fort entrance. Then a key can be used to get inside. But first, you should read Tony's notes. The Zorosian Empire's very existence was one of the greatest of archaeological mysteries for us to uncover, and we achieved that here in Thendistin. And although the empire was supposedly sprawling, it was so utterly destroyed that finding a near intact fort buried beneath the sands is cause for celebration. The monolith has a strong collection, connection with something buried deep, deep beneath this fort, however. Was the Zorosian the... Empire's oh, no, existence was once the greatest of archaeological mysteries for us to uncover, and we achieved that here at Sentiston. And although the Empire was supposedly sprawling, it was so utterly destroyed that finding a near intact fort buried beneath the sands is cause for celebration. The monolith has a strong connection with something buried. There is only one way to find out what the connection Was is. Was the monolith itself? We must Zorosian. dig deep at Caridel no, and discover not. what it's lies beneath it. Ancient gravel. Very slow picking up experience. I'm getting soil. I guess I could. Hopefully, there's a sifter up there. I didn't see. if I can put this in here. Oh. I could just click on this box and it automatically sucks up the soil. Sweet. It's a good thing to do when you need to like go somewhere like Low digging. Gotta hit, fill up the soil box every so often or else I'm gonna run out of space. When I get to 50, I can go start sifting. What are these items? Third age iron. Oh, that's probably used to clean off the artifact once I get it. Maybe if I... Yeah, we'll see. I think this blue bar is what I need to get all the way up before I can get an artifact. Yep. Level up.
getting there. 80% of my way there. Should get there anyway. Ninety percent of my way there. You don't have enough inventory space, of course not. Got all these insignias. Oh, look at all these insignias. So I don't have enough space. Let's go to that material storage place. Is there one right up here? I'm guessing there is. Where am I? Cactus art. Uh, art wouldn't be it, right? Need that material storage place to dump all the stuff. At least the iron. So close to finish. Alright, where's that storage? Bank chest. Banks are nice, but I need material storage. Did the journal tell me about that? No. map is in the main place. You are here. I need to be Tell me that there's gotta be a material storage place somewhere around here. There's a cart somewhere over there. Is that cart possibly the storage place? It's slowly sinking in the sand. Okay, I know. There's a workbench. Oh, here's the storage container. I found it. Can you dig it? I found it. You deposit some materials. Oh, sweet. I didn't even have to. Alright, let's go back. Hopefully, a tiny bit more digging, I can finish that up. Try to focus on a time sprite. Increase focus. I'm like 95%. Hey, I got a Venator light crossbow damaged. I got something. Let's go excavate it. I'm done, I'm done. Excavation time. I mean, uh, whatever you call it. How do you improve the quality? Workbench, there we go. Restore. Okay. Can I choose the item? I have one. Where was it? It was damaged. This guy. Venator Light Crossbow. I 
inspect. It's in the Zerosian collection. I need 12 irons and 16 insignias. Can I view it? Examine it. There we go. How much do I got? I need 12 and 16 to get that. How much do I got? Doesn't say. Clearly not enough. We'll keep digging, I suppose. Probably have about six, so I'm probably about halfway done. Time Sprite has moved to another location. I see one right here. Now I'm getting lots of items, a lot less soil, more insignias. I dump more in the chest, but then I'll lose track of it and forget about it. I suppose I could sip too. If it fills up, I'll dump that and I'll see if I can find one of those sifting things and sift all my soil. So maybe that'll help get me to my items that I need. I forgot about that often. Sifting through the sands. That looks full to me. Pause it and sifting. Where's the sifting? Well, let's look here to see. Yeah, see, Cerosia. See, I got it. I just need 12 of these and 16 of these. Not quite there. Oh, so I got 12 insignias. I just need four more insignias, roughly four more. Alright, let's try for sifting. We have a sifting area.
Maybe you don't have sifting for the uh, gravel. This gravel seems to be large. You could do that with your fingers. Let's talk to that doctor dude. Dr. Navinick. Welcome. You joined us at a remarkable time. Trying to gain access to the fort. Blah, blah, blah. Handed you a seal. Oh, I wonder if I could go... back and fix the damaged seal. Officer seal in need of restoration. Okay, so I don't see a seal on here. an option. Why is it not? Why is it not an option? Centurion Seal. Okay. This is it right here. So I just need archaeology level 12 before I can use this one. Okay, so if I level up to 12, that'll help with that. Alright, so now I need to figure out where to sand or, or to, to uh, sift my grab. Assuming that's an option. Are you the site manager here? If I'm something of an expert, would you not say? On Xerosian history, would you not say? I just thought you were going incognito when at the get at the uh, dig sites. Careful not to trib my trib trilby. Tip my trilby. But I have proven to be invaluable in the guilt nonetheless. Surprisingly, given the finds at the Sentistin dig, the guild have lower interest in the crid at site than some of the others that have come to their attention. Makes sense. Uh, if you already have access to the capital city, less interest in this tiny little fort. So when I requested and maintained this, there was no centurion. If the interest is so low, why did it ask to man manage it? An astute question, Mangler 3M. Remember, remember that I know where the secrets are buried. It's something of a cheat as an archaeologist, to be sure. Given how powerful you are, though, why use guild resources? Why not just magic your way where you want to get? Now, where would the fun be in that? Even entities like me need hobbies. It's not the prize, it's the progression. Archaeology is about telling the story, not jumping it the last page to see who done it. I bet it was the butler. It's always the butler. It is always the butler. Looking for places to sift gravel. Or soil, I guess. 
guess I can keep digging until that fills up. After that, I'm kind of stuck. It's all the way over here. Just a bunch of colorful stuffs. Nothing useful. I'm gonna find it as soon as I stop looking. I'm not looking for a soil sifter. I'm not looking for a soil sifter. Nope, not me. No, these all look like monsters and stuff. There's no way it's this far. In the desert. Found a place that's not raining. In the desert. It's like the Middle East or Arizona or something. I guess we'll just keep digging until we fill up and then figure out what to do next. Time is time. The more I gather, the less time I have to spend gathering. Tick, 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 Like the seven dwarfs. Ting, ting, ting. Oh, there's a thingma bobber flipping around over there. I think that gives extra experience. Yep, bonus. They give me a couple extra for that one. Not quite 50. Oh, it's nice in the morning. Kitties are fast asleep. Destroying everything all night. Catastrophe yesterday on their birthday. They turned four. Four years. The four longest years of my life. If you own a cat, you know what I mean. Found a dagger. Hey, that's the one I might have enough stuff for. Let's dump and clean it. Let's head up the stairs, see if I can grab this dagger. If we have a... Of course I went up the wrong way. This way, this way. All right, going to the bench. Tell me I can restore something. Tell me that's too far to walk. Okay. Please wait. What are they loading?
Well, I don't want to waste any more time. I'll go ahead and put a nice cut in the video right here. Hopefully it works and I'll start excavating. Otherwise, I'll just continue. That'll be the first thing on the uh, next screen. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining us. Had a lot of uh, participation here and look forward to next time. So have a good one.